Today I am going to talk about georeferencing and digitizing in GIS. It is a two-part video series. In the first part, I will talk about georeferencing. So sometimes we get an image uh, which does not have geographic locations uh, in it. So we make it uh, georeferenced, which means when we put the GI, the image in some GIS software, then it will be placed a, according to the real world location. <clears throat> so this is the definition I have copied from somewhere. Uh, so first of all, in this uh, video, I'll talk about georeferencing. In the next video, I'll talk about digitizing. So uh, I have two images which are not georeferenced. So if we put in GIS, it will not be shown in its own location. So let us see two different types of images. So this is an image uh, by Econos Satellite. It's a, it is a sample image provided freely. So I am using this in this tutorial. And this is uh, roads in Kathmandu. So you need to be familiar with the roads in Kathmandu to practice this tutorial. And next one is uh, image copied from a report uh, publicly available. So it is Jure landslide uh, which is located in Nepal. And what is the difference between these two is that in the second image, the jury location, we can find that coordinates are written here, but we don't have coordinates here. So we need to uh, find these uh, landmark or some known places in the actual digital data, GIS data. So let us start georeferencing. First of all, we will do this. So for that, I have uh, the vector data in the format of a shape file. And I will use this uh, shape file and locate the positions of these uh, known intersections or uh, some prominent points. So let us start. So first of all, I in the QGIS uh, browser, I open the data which is inside GIS exercise. So it is inside this georeference. So in this we have th three different uh, data. So these are uh, non-geolocated images and this is vector data. So if we double click this one, we can find the Images, uh, sorry, road lines. So you should know the what lies where in the Kathmandu city. So I will tell you uh, some things like this road is known as Ramsapat. So if we find this road by uh, attribute table, then we can uh, locate this 
uh, whole area in the map so let us first find where is the name is written in which attribute so here is the name so we have to find ram shahpat like this so there may be multiple ram shahpat so let us try to find uh, it can be done by select features using an expression so we don't know actually the uh, spelling of ram shahpat so we can use a wild card so let us say we have the fields so name and we use like for the wild card so like ram shahpat uh, we don't know what is written and let us say P A T H. But uh, it may be capital or small, so we make it lower so that we compare the lower or small uh, letter uh, of the this field with this um, text so percentage means it is it can be anything so let us see what is the result so we can see that 23 features are selected so uh, let us uh, use this tool to select uh, to zoom the map to the selected features so we can see that selected features are shown in yellow so this is Ram Sahapath from going from here up to this point so we have found uh, the location of the image or the location of the place represented by this image so now we use this raster and uh, okay. uh, in the previous versions you can find this georeferencer under raster toolbar but if you are using 3.28 then you can find this georeferencer under the layer toolbar so this georeferencer can georeference both vector data and raster data so let us use this now this is different uh, window and we will put the image here so we can find this image inside our folder so ktm ik is the image we want to geo reference so it is uh, shown like this and now we find the matching places for example this point is uh, somewhere here and this is known as Singh Darbar so let us uh, start the georeferencing we need to find three places uh, in the image which match the uh, roads so vector data which is matching so we put a point here and we don't know the coordinates so we find the coordinates from and also we need to change the uh, crs because the crs of roads is wgs84 so from the maps we find the coordinates so it is here okay same way 
this intersection point is here so we put one point here and again we find the place from the map canvas so we have two points and one more point is needed so so let us uh, use this point and again map canvas and this is the point so we have now three points of known coordinates so it is showing like this line because we are trying to use different kind of uh, uh, axis transformation than we need so from the settings it is uh, we are not going to transfer linearly so it is polynomial one means uh, like uh, straight line and it will rotate and trans uh, translate the image to its proper directions so once we change the settings now the error line is gone so now let us uh, now in the settings we can also change the output file names and you can also save the gcp points these are called uh, gcp ground control point so for example 119 in the image is 85.32 something and so on so uh, we use this tool and if we now run this tool then it will be georeferenced so now we can see that based almost properly now let us start geo referencing of this image this is quite simple so we know the coordinates of these places at uh, these points so we can find the intersection of these points and directly enter into the uh, geo referencer so let us zoom to this place and we can see that uh, the coordinate is uh, seven digit and six digit so it must be utm zone or projected coordinate so let us make the coordinates visible and this is the point we are going to use so let us start from new so we'll just start the georeferencer because we don't need any vector data for this image so this is the image now uh, we will zoom it so that coordinates as well intersection points are visible so this is the point so we put a point here and directly write the coordinates x is 388368 and y is 3073930 if you mistake here then it will be wrong so the coordinate system is 45 n okay so next one is we will use this one so this is x is three eight nine three six eight and y is again same three zero seven three nine three zero 
So we should be careful that the lines, the points we are taking are not in the same straight line. So uh, last one we will use this point. We should have better used the distant points but anyway it is just for practice so we add next point here so before that we should make the coordinates visible so we can see the coordinates here so just put this here now we can put the x coordinate 3 8 9 6 9 3 6 8 and y coordinate is here 3 0 3 0 7 0 9 3 0 okay so we can check whether we are correct or not Maybe this is uh, the settings are wrong, so we need to put it here. So now we can check whether it is correct or not. So first two are uh, y are same, but x are different, and third one and second one the y value is same uh, sorry x value is same and y is different so now if we georeference this one okay so now we can see that this is properly georeferenced